Hello viewers, this is Ayana Jayabalan. In this video, we are going to see about how to unsubscribe automatically in Angular 9. Okay, so basically what we'll do, if we have an observable, I know you will subscribe to that one, you will start to receive the messages. And uh, when you are moving from one component to another component, what we will do, we will sub unsubscribe in the ng on destroy event. Okay. So this has to be done in you know, in all the components uh, and also we have to implement the uh, destroy event. Okay. To avoid this, you know, to having the repeated code, what we can do in Angular 9, we have a features to unsubscribe automatically. Okay. So let's see how to do that one in Angular 9. Let's get into the implementation now. I have already created one Angular application uh, for the previous video. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to create an observable and uh, you know, I keep on get the values from the observable. So whoever subscribing, they will receive the messages. Okay. So what I will do, uh, let me define the observer. Observer. Observer, I'm going to receive the number. Okay, so I'm going to write the function. So in that, I'm going to have a set interval. Set interval, I'm going to say comma and every seconds I'm going to send a message. Okay. So in that I'm going to say observe dot so here you know since I'm just going to assign that so what I'm going to do here so in that I'm going to use it observer dot next so next it will send a message I'm going to send a message you know I so let me define i equal to you know let i equal to zero and let me keep on sending the message by incrementing zero one two three like that so what i'm going to do in that in the ng on init what i'm going to do i'm going to create observable number we are going to pass the observer this dot observer okay so on the ng on init itself what it what will happen i'm just uh, creating the observable so what will happen it will that observable you know it will keep on send the message to the subscribers okay so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to subscribe to this one. Okay. I'm going to subscribe. I'm going to subscribe uh, in that. I'm going to receive a message. I'm going to log the message. data okay so what will happen I will keep on receive the message 
and uh, when I will do the unsubscription first let's see that one whether I keep on raising the message or not so let me open that one if you see that one here you know I'm keep on receiving the messages from the observable whoever is subscribed they will receive these messages now what I'm going to do I'm going to so if I'm going to navigate to second page what will happen my subscription you know it's keep on running in the background okay so what is it it's not required because you know it will occupy memory so it is not what we have to do we have to unsubscribe from the subscription okay so it's because it's keep on running in the background even though I am not in that page okay so let me show it again it's keep on I'm getting that now I have subscribed I'm getting the messages from the observable when I'm moving to second page it's keep on running in the background so what I have to do I have to unsubscribe because it is not required to keep on running in the background okay so for that what I'm going to do here I have to implement that on destroy event so ng on this init we have seen ng on destroy so in that what I'm going to do I have to unsubscribe this one so basically what I can do I can create one subscription variable okay subs subscription equal to array whenever I'm subscribing here so what I'm going to do I'm going to keep it from one s1 and dot dot push so I'm getting some error let me check so let me find what is it Shit. yeah syntax problem let me push this to I'm subs I'm pushing the subscription to the uh, subscription array so at the end what I will do I can you know I can take I will just loop it this one for each what I will do I will have to unsubscribe from here so whenever I'm moving from one component to another component that ng on destroy will be called so automatically from here I will subscribe it okay let's check so this is my page it's keep on running now when I move to here you see that it is stopped because since I have unsubscribed in the ng on destroy event my subscription is completed okay okay so if I'm going to have this kind of you know, subscription on the component I have to do it this kind of code until I have to repeat it again and again okay so angular 9 you know for IV you know provided that uh, good feature to implement this one easily so for that uh, we have to install one package so npm install ng neat slash until destroy package now package is installed here so now what I can do let me import the package so ng neat until destroy okay so in that until destroy decorator 
I am going to use and the I will destroy operator. Okay. So what I have to do, I have to just add as a decorator here until destroy. And in the subscription, what I have to do. So in subscribing, before subscribing, I'm just going to use a pipe. Inside the pipe, I'm going to say until destroyed. I have to say this component. Okay. And so what we are keeping, you know, we are saying here your subscription will be, you know, live until destroying this component. Until destroyed. That's why we are specifying this. This is equal to this component. Okay. This component will be destroyed when? When we are moving to another page okay so for now here we don't require here okay we don't need this one so automatically it will unsubscribe you know whenever that this component is get destroyed automatically your subscription will end okay so that's why we are saying this until the strike it is the, your subscription will be available when your component is this component is destroyed automatically your subscription will end okay so let's see that one how it is running right now you see it's keep on running now i'm just navigating to another page my subscription is stop my subscription is end okay so this is a simple way here if you see that one i didn't use this ng on destroy event i just define wherever i'm doing a sub subscription i'm just using this operator until destroyed and also i have to specify the you know decorator until destroyed okay so in this way we can easily achieve the you know unsubscription automatically okay so hope you enjoyed and understand that one how to do the unsubscription automatically in angular 9 please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thanks